afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meetsy69. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we have open test. We have open test 9.7. Uh, a lot of things is going on with this update. And the main thing uh, which we will look at is the Chinese light tanks. Yes, the Chinese light tanks are... Uh, coming into the game so we will take a look at the uh, light tanks very very soon uh, but also what is coming is tanks are going to be rebalanced now sometimes they are be they are rebalanced not due because they are either op or because they're they're not good enough but wargaming just like to change the gameplay so people don't get bored of the same tank they like to change the meta as we would call it uh, and they've been doing this every few months or so or every half a year uh, they tend to change the balance of some tanks just so they're a bit different uh, play style and also so they're not the same as the other tanks you know uh, there's a couple of tanks say in tier 10 you've got the object 140 the t62 uh, they pretty much play very very similar and that is what wargaming want to do with these tank rebalancing they want to change uh, the gameplay and don't have the same tanks or uh, tanks that play the same way they like to be unique they want each tank to be unique and they this is what they are trying to do so we're going to have a look at some of the rebalancing and then we will have have a look at the new Chinese tanks come in. So as you can see here, so the Type 71 is being rebalanced. The improved suspension equipment will give 25% less. Uh, so a little bit ner uh, of a nerf there. Uh, uh, the durability will be increased by 100 uh, HP. Engine power will be decreased by 70 uh, HP. The velocity of all shells will be decreased. Tanks weight will be increased. Traverse, uh, traverse speed on the spot will be decreased. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's going to play a little bit different, uh, but it is what it is. And, of course, also the other lines, the other tanks in the Japanese line as well. If you want to just pause it uh, and have a uh, have a look to see what is being changed. Now, uh, a couple of them, like I said, the, the Type 68, the Chi C, the Type 71 are all brilliant tanks. And they are all going to be changed one way or another. Uh, so, again, if you want to read through all the tanks feel free just to pause it and have a read through them. But the next uh, line to be rebalanced is the German line here. So the only tank that's not on here, uh, sorry, not just the German uh, line, but we've got the uh, American line as well. So the Leopard 1 is staying the same, uh, but the Leopard PTA, uh, the standard shell damage will be increased by 10 HP. Uh, so you're getting a little bit more hit points uh, or more damage per shot on the Leopard PTA. Uh, the durability will be decreased by 50 HP. The aiming time will be uh, reduced uh, by 0 0.6 seconds. The max reverse speed will be decreased uh, by 3. Standard shell will be changed to AP. And the reload time will be reduced. So uh, I would say a bit of a buff there for the Leopard PTA. Uh, the Indian Panda, the shell uh, damage will be increased. So you've got 15, 10, and 20 for each shell there. Uh, 50 for your main 10 for your premium and 20 for your uh, he uh, the max reverse again just like the uh, leopard pta will be decreased the engine power will be increased and the turret and the whole armor will be weakened uh, that's a shame I would actually like to see that increase, the, the armor increase on the Leopard, uh, on the Indian Panzer, but it is what it is. Uh, the VK 3001D standard shell penetration will be increased, max speed will be decreased, reload, reload time will be reduced by uh, 0.15, the accuracy during tra turret traverse will be increased. Gun dispersion will be decreased. Aiming time will be reduced by almost half a second. Uh, and the turret and the whole armor, again, will be weakened. Engine power will be increased. Uh, so a bit of both there, buff and a nerf for the VK. The M46 pattern, which I believe needs a bit of love. Uh, the standard shell penetration will be increased by 6 millimeters. So not really too much there. And the reload time will be de uh, reduced by 0.2 seconds the whole traverse speed will be decreased uh the turret front armor will be enhanced by 24 and the gun mantlet will buy 44 so a bit of a buff there uh for the uh for the m48 uh, pattern again i don't think the armor buff is going to make it 
too different and i would like to see the the armor on that a little bit more again and again if you want to pause it for the remaining persian t20 and m4a 3e8 so moving on to the next one it is the french line so top of the uh, tree the Foch 155 the intricate reload will be reduced by 3.25 seconds like really it will be reduced uh, so the intraclip reload is going to be very very uh, very very good um but the shell uh, the shell damage for the auto loader gun will be decreased so you are doing a little bit less damage but your reload time between each shell uh, is literally three almost three and a half seconds less than it was so i think that is that's nice i think that will be nice uh the the shell damage for the uh, the silic uh, the silic gun or the silk silic gun will be increased uh, if you use the normal gun uh, the damage will be increased by 40 15 and 40 and the uh, the standard uh, the standard shell if, if you can hear that people are bibbing outside i don't even know what they're bibbing at um anyway so the standard shell penetration for the regular gun will be increased the magazine reload time will be increased by 4.8 so your intraclip reload is is decreasing but your magazine reload will be increased by a little bit more so it's a bit of a buff and a nerve you're going to get the damage out quicker but then you're going to have to wait longer for that reload so i don't mind that i don't mind that um the reload time there of the normal gun will be reduced by a second and the regular gun dispersion will be increased as well a little bit so a uh, bit of both there a bit of a buff and a nerf for the Fosh 155 uh, the top gun on the Fosh top gun will become a two shell auto loader just like the Fosh 155 which will be very very nice uh, the intraclip reload will be set to three seconds the magazine will be set to 18.22 seconds the accuracy during in traverse will be increased the velocity of all shells will be decreased so it's finally nice to see the fosh uh, the tier 9 fosh getting that auto loader gun i do like the gun and how it is to be honest i hope it don't change the the tank too much uh, because it is a nice tank and a very very good dpm and again the amx there aec 48 46 the arlv 39 and the s 35 so if you want to read those again feel free to pause but now let's have a look at what everybody is really wanting and that is the chinese light tanks so here we are with the new chinese light tank line that is coming this next update and of course the tier 10 the wz1321 uh the top of the tree but let's start at the beginning so we're going to start with this tank right here which is called the wind so of course this is a, a collectible chinese light tank which will be the next battle pass tank so in february this will be the battle pass tank What's it like? I mean, yeah, it looks small. It looks all right. And let's just have a look at the uh, the stats of this tank. So we're only going to look at the stats of the tank. And the tier 10 will have a little run run around in the in a training room to see how it plays. So as expected, it's got no armor whatsoever. Uh, the DPM, 1,707. So yeah, about average, really. And the reload time is 5.27 seconds. The penetration is 138 on your AP, 19 for on your apcr 25 on your he you've got 150 alpha round uh, 135 on your apcr and 200 on your uh, he aiming time is very good at 2.8 and the dispersion is 0 0.364 and it only has five degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 63 kilometers per hour so again just one of those you know like a type 64 uh, dpm is okay ish it's got no armor whatsoever the gun depression isn't great and and the speed is very very nice um and i'm guessing most of this line the aim time uh, is going to be good normally the chinese line uh, the aim times are are pretty good on the line so uh, at number six at tier, number six at tier six the first tank on this list uh, is the 5916 now we're not running it with any equipment any of the any of this line with any equipment or provisions uh, we're just going to run them how they are bulk standard so first of all these are the 
new camouflages for this line. Um, yeah, they're a bit in your face, but if you like them, then uh, yeah, that's uh, if you want to use them. But of course, you need rank 40 to up uh, to un get this to get this tank rank 30 to get this and then rank 20 to get this so it looks like a new thing coming uh where once you get to a certain rank you will unlock these camouflages so not a bad idea to be honest uh, i think that's uh, pretty decent to do that so what are these tanks like so let us uh, just have a look so the tier 6 version again no armor whatsoever on this tank the uh, dpm is 1565 so not the best of dpm it's a tier 6 tank it's 200 less than the the battle pass tank which we've just shown so yeah the dpm isn't nothing special about this tank the reload time is 6.5 seconds and the uh, penetration 132 on your ap one uh, two one two on your apcr 40 on your he you've got 170 alpha gun uh 135 on your apcr 200 on your he aim time is three seconds and again don't forget we're running this completely empty once you start using the provisions consumables equipment you will get this uh, aim time down and i think the aim time will be very very nice uh the dispersion on this is not so good at 0.384 so i would if you're running it with the equipment i would probably run it with uh, this refined gun just to make that dispersion better or you can make the aim time much better than it is but i the dispersion isn't great so i would probably run it with the refined gun uh so yeah i mean the, the, tier, the tier six doesn't look like anything interesting again only five degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 63 kilometers per hour so tier six looks boring in my opinion the tier six does look boring now moving on to the tier seven which is the wz131 looks like a type 62 dragon uh is it better than the type uh type 62 dragon i can't see it being better in my opinion so again no armor whatsoever uh the dpm 2053 which okay isn't so bad the reload time is six seconds penetration 155 on your ap 194 on your heat and 44 on your he you've got a 210 alpha gun on this tank uh 190 on your heat and you have two two um so uh my apologies i've actually forgot where i was uh someone come knocking on my car uh talking so anyway with the alpha let's go back to the alpha on this uh tier 7 tank so 210 alpha on your ap 190 on your uh, heat 260 on your he your aim time is 3.3 seconds and the dispersion is 0.364 so again the the aim time is in isn't as good as i thought it would be but again once you start running the equipment on this then you will drop it down to around about three seconds uh, so that isn't so bad and just like all the other tanks just five degrees of gun depression so i feel like this line will struggle with the gun depression uh because i like gun depression gun depression equals fun depression uh you do have a lot more fun when you have some gun depression uh and again the top speed is a very nice 64 kilometers per hour so moving on to the tier eight the wz132 um Again, as expected, it doesn't have any armor. 58 on your on your turret, 52 on your hull. The DPM is 1,976. The reload is slightly longer on this uh, at 9 seconds. Your penetration is 194 on your AP, 237 on your APCR, and 52 on your HE. Uh, so it isn't so bad penetration-wise, uh, especially your, your uh, HE for a light tank. You've got a 300 alpha gun, which is, is not bad for a light. You you have APCR 260 and you have 350 on your HE. Aim time is three seconds. Dispersion is 0 0.364. So again, you run the uh, you run the equipment and you can get that uh, gun dispersion. Uh, sorry, the aim time down to 2.7, which is going to be very very nice. And again, our, the whole line will be like that. So uh, you again five degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 64 kilometers per hour so it looks average i mean it definitely looks balanced it doesn't look unbalanced it doesn't look like it's going to be op in any way uh, but it also doesn't look like it's going to be really really bad uh, so moving on to the tier 9 wz132a and uh, again i think we're going to have the higher high uh, no armor 
but the higher alpha gun. So it's not going to have massive amount of DPM, but with this and the tier 10, you also have that new mechanic, which is the reduced spot duration. Uh, so it means you're spotted less than everybody else so as long as, long as you get out of the spotting range usually say it's 10 seconds you're spotted for you're only going to be spotted for about seven seconds so that is nice and again uh just like the t100 where if you it's got that spotting mechanic where you shoot someone they stay spotted for double amount of time um with this if you get shot from a T100, I think you are spotted for 10 seconds instead of the seven seconds, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see Wargaming bringing in these new mechanics and I hope to see it much more, you know? It brings the unique, uh, these, it makes these tanks unique. You know, they all have their own uh, mechanic. So it's nice to see. It's nothing. I don't think it's going to be overpowered. You're going to be spotted for seven seconds instead of 10. That's three seconds. I don't think it's nothing too major. Uh, so, your DPM is 2,550. Uh, the reload time is 7.7. .7. Your penetration, 225 on your AP, 285 on your APCR, 55 on your HE. Uh, I personally wouldn't run this with calibrated shells because it has APCR and not heat. I would just run it with the rammer to up that DPM. You've got a 330 alpha gun, which is very, very nice. You've got to remember, this is a light tank. So a light tank doing 330 in tier 9 is going to be very nice. Uh, 280 on your APCR and 420 on your HE. Your aim time, very nice at 2.9. Again, you can get this down to around 2.7 if you run it with the right equipment. The dispersion, however, isn't a great, uh, it isn't great at 0 0.355. But these tanks are not really to, uh, to camp. You know, they're not to camp. They're to get up there to spot your team and to uh, to then relocate. They're light tanks. These are going to be proper played as a light tank. So uh, you only, again, have five degrees of gun depression. So do be careful when you're getting on them ridgelines. 65 kilometers per hour speed as well. So uh, very, very nice. So the top dog, the WZ1321. It's, uh, yeah, it looks nice. It does look nice. I think it looks uh, very, very good. And a lot of people were going to be playing for this tank. People have been waiting for a light tank, a uh, Chinese light tank in tier 10 for a very, very long time. So again, it has that reduced spot uh, duration, that new mechanic in the game. And it actually has some turret armor, 140 millimeters on your turret, which isn't so bad for a light tank. Yes, you're not going to bounce much, uh, but you might be able to get the, uh, the troll bounce depending on your angles so the dpm 3129 now we're not even running adrenaline on this now it does have uh sorry not we're not even running um the gun rammer so if you run the gun rammer you can actually get it to 300 uh, 3365 very very nice and if you want to run it with uh, calibrated shells you can get the heat pen up to 325 so personally i would stick with the uh, the dpm and run the calibrated shells because that 325 again in tier 10 you will need you will need that pen so especially in a light tank so uh, yeah I don't I don't think that's too bad 3100 dpm or 3300 dpm if you want to run it with the uh, rammer 6.33 seconds or five point something seconds if you run it with the rammer uh two three uh 230 pen as we've just said and 295 on your heat standard uh so again i don't think that is too bad at all uh the 330 alpha gun 280 on your heat and 420 on your uh he again 2.8 on your aim time now you can get this down to 2.6 which is incredible uh and also the dispersion isn't actually that bad on this tank uh, compared to the, the whole of the other line, it isn't bad at 0 0.326. So I would keep the 2.8 and I would run it with the refined gun just to make that dispersion good as well because that then becomes good dispersion and the you also then have good aim time. So that is how I would run it. So let me just run the equipment with this tank at what I would run. So the gun rammer and the calibrated shells, it is totally up to you whether you want the penetration or the DPM. But personally, I would run it with calibrated shells improved modules um improved optics because you are light tank you want to you want to spot them as early as possible uh, i would also run it with a enhanced gun laying drive which again uh, makes the aim time better as well 
Um, and enhanced armor you won't need, so you might as well give it some more hit points. I uh, improved gun control, and then I would run it with the refined gun and enhanced tracks, and these last two doesn't really matter. And then, with running all that, you've actually got a very, very nice tank. Uh, still, the DPM, of course, is the same, but you've got better penetration, uh, 325 there. You've got 2.5 aim time, and you've got a 0.293 on your dispersion. You do, however, only have five degrees of gun depression. So uh, have a top speed of 67 kilometers per hour, which I think, does that make this the second fastest uh, in the game? Or I think it's either the second or third fastest in the game. So that is it. That is the Chinese line. Uh, the video is 20 minutes long, so we're not going to go into training rooms, but that is the uh, the tank for you. Do you know what? Uh, let's just just, let's just pop into training rooms. We're not going to be long and just see how this tank runs in the... Uh, let's see what the tank is like. Let's just see what the uh, acceleration's like um, and see how it is. So uh, I haven't got the graphics on turn on, so the, the graphics actually look really, really bad. Uh, but yeah, the acceleration, it seems okay. It seems not too bad. And oh my God, the, ex uh, the graphics is poor. Um, so yeah, again... With the whole line, you are going to uh, suffer with that gun depression. You really are going to suffer with that gun depression. So it's not best to uh, to get on a ridge. Again, if you go onto a ridge sort of like this, for example, uh, you are going to have to expose a lot of your tank uh, to be able to get your gun down. And you'll probably see it better here when you're on, especially a map like this, where light tanks, sort of a medium tanks, and so even some heavy tanks sort of get into this position here uh, where they're on a ridge you're not going to be able to get your gun down enough to be able to get that shot off. I mean, look here, we can't get our gun down. So, to, and, and we're already exposed. So to get your gun down, you're going to have to sort of open up yourself and it's not going to be good. So don't get yourself on a ridge. Spot your tanks and then I'm just going to exit because the graphics, I haven't turned the graphics. So, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, overall, I do think it's a decent line. I think well done Wargaming because they are, it's balanced. I think the tanks are very, very balanced. Uh, the tier 10, of course, is the most exciting uh, because it's a tier 10. People have been waiting for a Chinese light tank in tier 10 for a very long time. And the stats actually look very, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you stay till the end, give us a thumbs up. Give us a, uh, a subscribe. And if you watched our live premiere thank you for your support so uh, i hope you enjoy it what line are you or what tank are you looking forward to the most uh does this uh, does this line look interesting to you and are you going to grind it so uh thank you wargaming and uh for giving me the opportunity to make this video the of course the open test uh, account as usual and uh, yeah, I look forward to it. I'm definitely going to be grinding this line uh, because it does look, especially the tier 9 and the tier 10, they do look really, really nice. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm Meadzy, and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.